is Ethnic Green Living here, and I just want to come on and encourage some moms and some people, um, some women on today. Um, I just want to encourage you about love. I want to share the devotion that um, we did yesterday and the devotion that we did today. Okay, so the one that we did yesterday, March the 14th, was avoid comparisons. And I'm not gonna read this whole thing. If you guys are on my Instagram, you'll see me post these time and time, or if you're in the Becoming um, the Woman of God Facebook group, then you will also see this week I'm facilitating that. But what I wanna, what I highlighted for myself, she says a confident woman avoids comparisons. And it talks about, I believe confidence is found in doing the best we can with what we have to work with and not to compare ourselves to others or competing with them. Our joy should not be found in being better than others, but being the best we can. And the prayer was, Lord, I refuse to compare myself with others and compete to be better than them. My only interest is to be the best that I can with the gifts and talents you have given me. And so I love doing the best we can with what we have. So I've taken these um, mismatch pieces and I have done the best that I can. That was yesterday and today, March the 15th, is Love Much. And it tells the story um, of Mary Magdalene. She was the woman with the past. She had sold her love by the hour. She was a prostitute. She was called an especially wicked sinner by the Pharisees. But in Luke 7, we see Mary anointing Jesus' feet with a special perfume. And so when we have an unpleasant past, people often misjudge our actions and we find ourselves trying to convince others that we are acceptable. And see, people don't forget as easy as God does. And so they couldn't understand why, she, they would, why he would even let her wash his feet. But he had forgiven her, okay? And she wanted to give him the most expensive thing she owned. She wanted to serve him. He saw her heart and not her past. And that just reminds us to not dwell on what God has forgotten. And the prayer for today was, Lord, I want to love you in the way that Mary loves you. Thank you for your forgiveness and cleansing my heart and soul from sin. I will give you my best. Amen. And so from that, I take away, I will give you my best. Thank you for cleansing me and forgiving me. And once again, he had forgiven her. And he saw her heart, not her past. And so with these new pieces that I've made, you now see the finished product. You see the beauty. You don't see the past. The past says it was an unwanted vessel that was passed to one person and passed to another because she didn't want it. She couldn't see the value in it. She couldn't see the worth. worth. Um, the other one says, you know what, we were sitting on the shelves we were taking we were drinking and now these bottles are to go to the recycles or the trash most people would trash it we recycle so that was a better um, fit getting more use but now the best fit is to be repurposed and reused in a way that's unimaginable and I feel like that's what God does for us he takes that um, mismatched broken headed for the dump or the recycle and he changes it for beauty. I used to be a foster mother um, at the ARC. Um, and one of the foster children that I had, he used to always sing this song that Marvin Sapp sings. Um, and he, he sung, you know, he saw the best in me. And it just reminds me of the lady that we talked about in our devotion. And it just reminds me of these mismatched jars um, versus the beautiful um, jars that they are now. No one knows what my jars um, or what my vessels were. All you know and all you see is the ending product. And it took somebody, which in this case was me, seeing the best in these used, mismatched, 
things that were headed for the discard pile. Um, one vase somebody gave me because somebody gave it to her and she didn't want it. The other jars are going to the recycles um, to get a little more life out of them. Um, but it's just how I turned some things that were unwanted and mismatched and misfit into something so beautiful. And um, I just want to leave you guys with a little bit of the song that he used to love so, so very much. And it's a song that should touch us all. And it simply goes, um, He saw the best in me When everyone else around me Could only see the worst in me Oh, he saw the best in me when everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. See, he's mine, I'm his, and it doesn't matter what I did, cause he only sees me for who I am. Oh, he's mine, I'm his And it doesn't matter what I did Cause he only sees me for who I am Everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. And I just want to remind you that even when people see you as this, the Lord sees you as this. So until next time, blessings.